The limitation of Xero and other base level accounting softwares like QuickBooks is the inability to manage intercompany control issues down at a transactional level. Typically at month end, finance teams will manually reconcile the books across the group using spreadsheets outside of the software itself. And this can be a trigger point for some businesses to upgrade to mid-tier accounting software like Microsoft Dynamics 365 and NetSuite. Over the last few years, a couple of platforms have emerged claiming zero integration as well as intercompany functionality down at a transactional level. The plugins we're going to review today are Mayday and Translucent. Please note there are other platforms available on the market which also integrate with Xero and claim intercompany functionality, but they do so only at a consolidated reporting level once the books have been reconciled. To test both Mayday and Translucent, we've run real life month end examples in the software and look specifically to see if the software addresses common issues that arise at a month end when managing these company transactions. So the first issue we've really looked at is, does the software alleviate the duplication of manual entries across multiple entities? Does the software help with the detection and elimination of intercompany discrepancies? And does the software facilitate quick and efficient consolidated reporting? Problem one, duplication of manual entries. We tested both platforms with a simple expense recharge from a parent company down to a subsidiary. Mayday has an inbuilt recharge feature which allowed us to perform this task with ease, posting the appropriate entry simultaneously in both the parent's and subsidiary's books. Rules can be easily set up to facilitate recurring journal each month, eliminating manual journals at each close cycle. Note, the system also raises intercompany invoices. Translucent has a similar feature called IC Recharger, just like Mayday, rules can be set up to post and automate journals for future recurring recharges in Xero. The base level functionality of creating and posting entries between the group companies is very similar between the two softwares. The main difference between Mayday and Translucent is the kind of rules they provide. Both have the recharge at cost rule, however Mayday provides recharge cost plus and don't recharge rules. Problem two, detection and elimination of intercompany discrepancies. This problem can be a real issue when closing the books at month end. Without software, finance teams typically conduct manual checks from one trial balance to another or via some kind of tabulated matrix. We tested the ability of both platforms to detect and automate as much as possible the elimination of intercompany discrepancies. Mayday is a very handy balancer feature, a dashboard showing all intercompany accounts in a matrix format. This dashboard shows which balances do not agree across the group. What I really liked was the ability to drill down to the transactions history list, showing balanced transactions side by side across entities, enabling for the quick identification of discrepancies. If a difference exists as a result of FX translation, then this can be auto-calculated and posted via a click to zero. At the time of producing this video, April 2024, the translation functionality to detect and eliminate intercompany discrepancies is still in progress. These will be released later on under the IC matrix and IC transactions features. Problem three, manual consolidation of financial statements for reporting purposes. Most finance teams using Xero will probably manage the consolidation process via Excel worksheets, keeping track of intercompany adjustments along the way. This obviously poses a number of issues, least of all difficulties in turning around last minute reporting amendments. As at April 2024, the time we're producing this video, Mayday does not offer consolidated reporting. Translucent has a group reporting function and we found this feature relatively easy to use and configure. It did everything we expected it to do as a multi-entity reporting tool. Summary. In terms of managing the base level posting of transactions across group entities, we found that the functionality was comparable across the two platforms. However, we thought that Mayday's balancer feature added a lot of value in cutting down month-end transactional churn which is not on offer from Translucent currently, although there are planned updates for this. Translucent does other reporting functionality, which Mayday doesn't, but given the amount of reporting tools which exist and offer this, it seems like Mayday could be combined with such reporting tools to provide a full suite solution. Please note, other features worthy of note that we've not covered off so far include Mayday's brag or bank reconciliation across the group feature, which allows users to reconcile bank feed items in one entity to bills or invoices in other zero entities, and Translucent's multi-entity search, which allows the user to search a vendor name, invoice number, and description in one place across all entities. Pricing. Pricing across both platforms is flexible and depends largely on the number of transactions, number of entities, and whether one is choosing an annual or monthly plan. 
To compare like with like, we attempted to compare quotes with a group of three companies and an unlimited transactions allowance. For Mayday, this would cost £45 a month on an annual plan or £54 a month on a monthly plan. For Translucent, the pricing options were somewhat harder to follow on the website, and while we did contact customer support for the response, we didn't receive any feedback. Based on the website guidance, it seems like the same functionality would cost around US$129 US per month, so around £104 a month, paid annually. It doesn't look like a plan with a monthly commitment is available for Translucent currently. So just a quick update, Translucent did actually come back to me after filming the video with a pricing quotation for the three companies within a group. So they charge on a per group basis as opposed to a per company basis like Mayday do. So for a group of companies with no limit on the number of entities, users or transactions, the annual plan is £109 per month paid up front and then the monthly plan is £219 paid per month. So I think on that basis for smaller groups of companies, Mayday would probably be a cheaper option, whereas for larger groups, Translucent may be better from a pricing point of view. Um, it would really de depend on your, your circumstances. So I think the best thing to do would be to obviously play around the quotations for each based on your specific circumstances to compare the quotes. I did play around um, with the Mayday pricing just to see how far we'd have to push up the number of companies before it became more expensive than Translucent. And it looked like you'd have to be sort of pushing up above 14 to 15 companies, which for most sort of small, medium sized businesses, it seems very unlikely. So I think certainly for um, three companies within a group or for most SMEs, I, I would suggest that Mayday is typically going to be the um, cheaper option. Conclusion Mayday is our winner at the time of producing this video. While Mayday doesn't have consolidated reporting features built in, it feels like Mayday really has resolved key transactional related issues that occurs for finance teams when managing intercompany accounting matters and addresses a gap in the market that has previously existed. We feel like Translucent is a platform which shows promise. However, given it is more expensive than Mayday and currently lacks some of the key features needed at the time of producing this video, we think that Mayday is a clear winner. The question remains, is Xero combined with Mayday a sensible alternative to upgrade into a mid-tier accounting solution? We think that Mayday combined with the multi-entity reporting tool could well postpone the need for an upgrade to a mid-tier solution like NetSuite or Sage Intact. Please note, these solutions offer far more functionality than just intercompany management, so the decision needs to be based on the needs of any specific business. However, given that these platforms typically start at around 10k per annum, that's £10,000, and that's before any special configurations, we do think that Mayday represents good value for money. Given the ease of setup of Mayday, we see no harm in suggesting a trial before fully committing, perhaps running in tandem for the first month end. If you've enjoyed today's video and think it's added value to you, then I'd really appreciate that you liked and subscribed to the video. In the link section below the video, I'm also going to place a link to a newsletter that I'm starting. So in this video, I'll be circulating a lot more reviews around the software that's available on the market, specifically targeting the finance, accounting and tax sectors. And I'll also be posting more videos on here in the future. So um, I'll also put in my LinkedIn um, details there as well. If you'd like to shoot me a note or give me any comments back. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.